Hello and welcome to Verbling. Hi there, I'm Teacher Oakley. And uh, in this next hour and tomorrow at the same time slot, we're going to be looking at some pretty basic food-related vocabulary. Today we're concentrating on meat. Meat and fish. Meat and fish identification, yay. Uh, okay, we're going to be doing some fill-in-the-blank exercises, a little mix and match, and also some discussion along the way to talk about one of my favorite topics, food. Uh, okay, let me start out by welcoming uh, Hussein to the class. Hello, Hussein. How are you? Good morning. Uh, I am well. Uh, I'm doing okay, mm -hmm. pretty much, I think, <laughs> so far. Great. Uh, nice to have you in class again. Good to see you. Nice to see you again. Good to see you as well. And uh, hello to Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, Oakley. How are you today? I'm doing well. How are you? Uh, I am. I am fine. Uh, but I have been many problems with my internet today. Yeah, well, okay, let's keep our fingers crossed. I had a little yeah. problem with my internet earlier, but everything seems okay now, so, all right, let's collectively cross our fingers and hope for the best, I suppose. Uh, okay, talk to you in a little bit. German uh, uh, is with us. Hello, German. How are you today? German? Hello, teacher. Uh, hey there. I can hear you, but just barely. The audio is very, very low volume. You can, I don't know, adjust that or something. I can barely hear you, man. Uh, hopefully you can get that hooked up, and we'll come around and talk to you in a little bit. Uh, hello, Amore. How are you? Amore, how are you today? I'm, I'm in, yes, Hi. teacher. I'm fine. Thanks for asking. And you? I'm doing okay. So far, so good. Uh, thanks. Nice. Uh, yeah. All right. We'll talk to you again in a little bit. Good morning, I think. Mustafa, how are you? Good morning. How are you, teacher? Good morning. Hi. Uh, welcome back to the class. Good to see you again. Thank you. And uh, greetings and hello to Armando. Hello, Armando. Hello. How are you? I'm I'm good. Thank you. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Okay, gentlemen, and we're all gentlemen here. I'm supposing we're we're the ladies today. Okay, fine. All right. It's it's a men's class. It's all about meat, meat and fish. Rah! <laughs> okay, we'll all be manly men together. Fine. Um, okay. Uh, welcome to the class, Carlos. Hey, Carlos. Greetings. Hi again, Carlos. Hi. Uh, hello, teacher. There we go. Hello. Okay. Hello. I'm fine. Just checking your microphone. All right. Okay. We're going to start with a, a basic kind of mix and match talking about meat. All right. We're going to look at different kinds of meat and categorize them into these categories. Pig. From the animal, pig, sheep. A uh, cow, poultry, uh, inside an animal, um, okay, internal organs. All right, we're going to look at these one at a time. Talk about maybe if we eat these things. Hussein, beef is what? Beef is meat uh, of cow. Um, cow, yes it is. Cow. Yeah, cow. Ow. Ow sound. 
cow. That's it. All right, beef is from a cow. Uh, do you eat beef, Hussein? Of course. I I I lack all the <laughs> meat. <laughs> all okay. kinds of. <laughs> okay. Yes. Great. Well, what's your favorite cut of beef? Okay. Uh, when we're talking about steaks or individual pieces uh, that we would like to cook, whether whatever barbecue, the roast, whatever we're doing. We talk about cuts of beef, or cuts of pork, or cuts of lamb, for that matter. We're talking about one piece. What's your favorite cut of beef, Hussein? Uh, what do you like? Honest, all, all the kind of beefs. Oh. <laughs> all. Yes. All right. Exactly. So grind the whole thing up and make you a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> no <Okay>. different for me. <laughs> all right. Okay, fair enough. Before we continue, uh, let me welcome a couple newcomers to the class. Hello, Keiko. Well, hi, teacher. Nice to see old, you. Nice to see you. An, an old newcomer, I should say. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Welcome back. And, Thank you. Uh, also, David is with us. Hello, David. How are you? Hello. Hello. Uh, welcome to the class. Uh, okay, we're going to continue here. We're talking meat. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mike. Hey, Mike. Uh, okay, looking at lamb. Where does lamb belong in this uh, diagram? In this, what category? Uh, poultry, I, sheep. I don't see. I, I don't see. You don't see? You see now? Yep. Yes. Um, uh, a lamb is a kind of what? Uh, I don't know. Can I give you a clue? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me give you a clue. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know now. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, lamb is a sheep. I believe, unless my memory is faulty, I believe a lamb is a, sh is a sheep that is nine months old or, uh, or younger, six to nine months old, maybe nine months old. Um, a small sheep, in other words. I, I nine months old sticks in my mind. Mike, do you ever eat lamb? Mike, Mike, are you there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do, do you ever eat lamb? No, I don't. You don't? You should try it. It's delicious. Uh, <laughs> it's delicious. Lamb chops. Yum. Uh, give it a try, Mike. You might like it. Uh, okay. Um, uh, okay, uh, let's move on, I guess. Uh, German, is your microphone working okay? I can, I can barely hear you. I can hear you, but I can barely hear you. But let's try it anyway. Um, what category does pork belong in? Pig. Yes, it is. That's right. All meat from a pig is pork. Uh, of course, again, there's there's many different cuts of pork. Uh, notice we say beef is meat from a cow. We say cuts of beef, cuts of pork. Uh, what, what do you eat pork? First of all. Yes, of course. All right. I often, often eat. Yeah. Okay. It, is there any specific 
part uh, any specific like uh, pork that you like, pork chops or ham or bacon or tenderloin? Usually in the mornings I eat bacon. bacon. Ah, okay. Right. Uh, pork is often eaten in the morning in uh, bacon or sausage, of course. Yeah. Okay. Many countries have uh, different kinds of sausage, many different kinds of sausage, actually, from pork and beef. Uh, okay. Moving on. Uh, amore. Okay. Uh, chicken is a poultry. Of course it is. And I'm willing to bet that you eat chicken. Yes, teacher, uh, I have a question. Ham is inside an animal or not? Well, ham? Well, yes, it is. Yes. Oh, yeah. okay, thank you. I understand now. Thank you. We'll get that in just a second. What's your favorite part of a chicken? Uh, um, the leg? I don't know. How can I say? Leg? Are you, leg. Okay. Well, you... <laughs> Chickens kind of like women, Amore. Some guys. Oh are yeah, I know. Some are, some are <laughs> like men. Some are breast men. You know. Uh, oh, I know. Uh, okay. <laughs> it all depends what what you like, of course. Uh, okay. Like wings. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Anyway, all right. Before I get myself into trouble, I better move on. Um, no, all right. All right. <laughs> Mustafa. Mustafa, do you, do you know what ham is? Yeah, I know. What's ham? You, you know what ham is, and that belongs in what animal? Uh, the pig. The pig. Now, I'm guessing you, you probably don't eat ham. Yeah, you are correct. Yeah, right. Okay. Because, of course, in some religions, uh, it, it is not allowed to eat pork, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. So, no ham for you. That That's okay. Well, we'll find something you can eat here today, I'm sure. Uh, all right. Armando. Let's move on. Armando. Okay. Turkey, yeah, turkey. Turkey, turkey. Yeah, yeah. Where does that belong? Poultry. <laughs> that that belongs above Syria and next to Greece <laughs> on the Black Sea. No, sorry. Uh, poultry. That's right. Of course. Um, all right, Armando. Do you ever eat turkey? Yeah, I eat every everything. Everything. Yeah. Where? My every every day's menu is very varied. Ah, okay, very varied. That's good. Great. Uh, where are you from, Armando? Can you remind me? Spain. Spain. Ah, yeah. okay. They they have turkey farms in Spain. Do they raise turkeys? Yeah, but no, a lot of it. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why more people don't eat turkey. It's delicious. It's very, very low in fat. Uh, so delicious, and there's so there's so much meat on a turkey. Turkeys are extremely stupid, Armando. Did, did you know that? No. <laughs> yes, Armando. I'm not kidding. Turkeys are so stupid. You have to bring them inside when it rains because they will look up into the sky and they can drown themselves. <laughs> If it's raining hard enough, they'll look up in the sky and they won't be able to breathe because the water will go down their throat. My God, they're stupid. Farmer, you have to be very careful farming turkeys because they're really, really dumb animals. Uh, okay. Anyway, Carlos. Carlos? You, yeah, you're here. Carlos? Yeah. Uh, liver. Ah. What category does that belong in? Uh, liver belongs to um, inside. No, no the, um, yeah, you're right. Uh, inside inside an animal. animal. Yeah, some 
Many people eat cow liver, chicken liver, uh, are, are eaten by uh, pig liver even. Um, yeah, you can eat the liver of uh, many animals. Many people don't like liver. Carlos, do you enjoy liver? No, I don't like uh, it. Mm. Most people don't. Children hate liver. Uh, well, at least American children. Uh, do children hate liver in your country, Carlos? Uh, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, in my family, we we don't have children. Okay. We we are yeah. adults. Many kids hate liver. I think all over the world. I think I don't know, but well, in America, not so true here where I live in the Philippines. Kids eat liver all the time. There's they eat liver here a, a, quite a bit actually, and they mix it into several other dishes. So anyway, uh, Keiko, next one, veal. Where does veal belong, Keiko? Veal. Is is the meat from little little cows uh, calf? Yes, it is calf, right? Yeah. Yes, baby cows. Yeah, let many people protest about eating veal. Do you eat veal? In Brazil, it's not so common, did you? Mm -hmm. Okay. It is it is a kind of delicatessen, uh, a kind a special kind of meat, not very common. Okay. Uh, a delicacy. A delicacy. Yeah. That, that word is hard to spell. It's spelled with two Cs. A delicacy, a rare food that you don't usually get a chance to eat very often, and and often it's expensive. Things like caviar. Veal, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's basically unheard of here in the Philippines, but uh, many European countries and America, North America, um, veal is something that you'd find in in fancy gourmet restaurants, for example. Uh, oh, really, Mustafa? Is that right? Veal is fairly common. For uh, festivals and such. Ah, okay, interesting. Um, okay, I, I'm okay with veal. I don't have a problem with it. <laughs> that's hey, that's just me, David. Uh, are you here? Yeah, David. Uh, bacon comes from what? Pig. A pig, of course. Do you like bacon? Do you eat bacon? Yes. <clears throat> David, there's a there's a company in the United States that makes bacon flavored ice cream. <laughs> Which, ice cream is sugar, eh? <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding. Bacon flavored ice cream. Would you try bacon flavored ice cream? No, I prefer bacon. No. <laughs> okay. I, I understand. Uh, okay. Well, it's kind of crazy, but it's it's true. I'm not I'm not kidding you guys. There's a company that makes bacon ice cream. You know ice cream, right? Ice cream with bacon in it. Yum. <laughs> I've never tried it, <laughs> but I would. I love bacon. Uh. Okay, uh, Hussein, moving back to you. Duck. Duck. Uh, about veal, I uh, uh, yeah. Uh, eat, eat veal. In our country also uh, in Russian area, because of in our uh, country all the people like veal. Uh, ah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Well, uh, uh, my family also uh, usually in our 
family we use the really the expensive it is expensive than uh, yes. cow meat absolutely uh, yes and very very delicious uh, 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 after that uh, about uh, liver from lamb that we use a lot of liver from uh, use uh, also we use a lot of uh, a lot of not a lot of but ordinary ordinary maybe inside of uh -huh. uh, animals in our country we use uh, right. a lot uh, right uh, right but about about um, chicken as women I first time here in my life really maybe you can be a <laughs> great chicken. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Duck. About duck we yeah. uh, use uh, not a lot. Uh, but I I eat. I eat and I like very fatty uh, bird. Very very fatty bird. Uh, <laughs> very what? Happy? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, no happy. Fatty, fatty. Fatty. Oh yes, you're right. Fatty, Absolutely. Fatty. If you uh, smoke, a lot of fat. Uh, yes, if you oh, smoke, ooh, the dog very very will be delicious. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, that sounds great. Mm -hmm. That sounds good to me. Uh, yes, D duck as opposed to turkey, which is very lean. All right, uh, mm -hmm. lean means there's very little fat. A duck is the opposite. Mm -hmm. A duck mm -hmm. is extremely oh, fatty, really, quite greasy, fatty, uh, definitely. But um, hey, the fat's the flavor. Uh, okay. Um, Right, duck of course is poultry. It's a bird. Birds being poultry. Uh, okay, Mike. I will. What? Sorry. Uh, okay, um, Mike. How about kidney? Where does that belong? Um, I see. Uh, inside an animal. A skull. Yeah, it's definitely inside an animal. Uh, for sure. Uh, is is all right. Uh, yeah, no, that is absolutely correct. Yes, um, of course, in Great Britain, they have steak and kidney pie, a very famous dish in England. I don't eat many kidneys myself. How about you? Uh, but I'm sorry? You, have you ever had steak and kidney pie? I'm sorry, repeat, please, please. Have you ever had steak and kidney pie? It's a famous dish from England. Steak and kidney pie. Yeah. Yes, yes. I like so-so. Yeah. Uh, ah, okay. So-so. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Most, most English food, I would no. have to give it a so-so. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, very, very, very good. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, German, how about the last one here? Have you ever heard of guinea fowl? Or guinea hen, actually. Uh, teacher, I don't know what is this, but I think that is something of inside an animal. Uh, guinea fowl? No, guinea fowl, they're like small birds, guinea hen. Or then there's another one called Cornish game hens. These are small, um, small game birds. Okay, they're wild birds. People don't normally raise them on a farm. So you go out and you shoot one with a gun. And uh, anyway, they're small, smaller than a chicken, but they're poultry. Uh, do do people in your country eat other birds? Like uh, other than chicken and turkey? Like uh, birds that you hunt? Yes. 
uh, in my country people mm, uh, people eat a lot of chicken wings uh, <laughs> wings uh, in KFC <laughs> okay <laughs> Uh, yeah, in um, in the United States, there's there's several game birds. Okay, like I don't know, partridge, prairie chicken. There there are um, quail. Okay, these are these are birds you go out and you hunt. Uh, you you hunt for them. You you shoot them in the wild and bring them home and eat them up. Uh, they're great. They're good. Um, pheasant. Well, there you go. There's another game bird. A pheasant. Uh, okay. Uh, Amore, have you ever tried? Uh, have you ever tried any of these things? Pheasant, rabbit, quail, venison, ostrich. No, teacher. Oh well, yeah. Do you know what okay. venison is? Venison, no. Venison, no. Uh, quail and rabbit, yes, I know. Ostrich, no idea. <laughs> venison, no idea. <laughs> okay. Well, venison is meat from a deer, like beef is from a cow, pork is from a pig. Venison is from a deer. Yes, I got, I got it. No. Okay. I... And. Uh... Ostrich, those giant birds from Africa, they don't fly. They're really they're tall as a person, taller than a human. Oh, okay, uh, I know. Uh, no, never, never. I never eat something like that. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, Mustafa. Um, venison in the United States is not rare because. You are allowed to hunt deer in the United States, and there's a lot of deer. Uh, so it's really not that rare. If you don't hunt, you probably know somebody who does, and they'll give you some venison. Well, I guess in the city, you can buy it, and it's expensive. But if you live in the country, it's, it's cheap. People give it to you because there's a lot of deer running around and there's there are hunting seasons everywhere in Canada and United States and actually pretty much every North American has tried venison I think it's fairly common um, to at least have tried it uh, yeah anyway yeah I, okay let's Let's move on. Um, meat collocations. All right, here's some real um, some real vocabulary to learn about specific parts. Mustafa. Uh, okay, read the. Uh, okay. okay. Salad, ram, uh, complete. All right. Sure, sure. They all collocate okay. with one of these words up above here. Uh, fillet, ram, sirloin, uh, T-bone, and so oh, I don't know any one of them, but I guess I'll guess. What are, what are those things? Okay. Uh, this is part, maybe, part, part of animal. They are, they co-locate, all these words are types of one of these things. They go with one of these words. Chicken. No. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, first, first of all, it's filet. It's a French word with the E-T ending. We do not pronounce the T. Filet. Uh, these are all types of steak. T-bone mm -hmm. steak. Awesome. Filet, sometimes called filet mignon. Uh, filet mignon. Oh, my God. Goodness, melts in your mouth. These are all steaks from a cow. They're all beef. Oh my goodness, and my mouth is watering. Sirloin steak, T-bone steak. These are actually a turboin. T-bone includes the sirloin and the fillet. But any anyway, these are all types of steak. Mm. Different again, like cuts of beef. Cuts of beef are the ones that 
we generally cook over a hot fire, over hot heat, or steaks. Okay. okay. Do you like? Do you ever have a steak, Mustafa? I have a steak, but this is like a new for me, new vocabulary for me. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, steak. Um, American restaurants, if you go into an American restaurant, they're basically going to have a selection of steaks you can eat. It's very normal. Uh, Armando, what co-locates with pork and lamb? Uh, I don't know. Pork is pork, lamb is lamb. It's yeah, what, what word goes with both? Eh? Which of these words, chicken, burger, steak, pork, goes with, they, or co-locates with pork or lamb? Do you know? Any idea? Burger, no. Burger, no. Burger? No. I mean, yeah, okay, uh, chops is the answer. Pork chops, lamb chops, those are those, uh, the chops, they have the bone and then the kind of roundish piece of meat, um, a very normal cut, all right, the way that the meat is cut, pork chops, lamb chops, uh, yeah, delicious. Okay. Uh, anyway, they, they are they are uh, uh, a bit chop too. Yeah, they are part of the go go chop. They are. They are from the ribs of the animal. Okay, so they include one of the ribs, a pork chop or a lamb chop, include one of the ribs of the animal and the meat that's attached to the rib. Oh. So those are called, in English, we call them pork chops or lamb chops. Uh, okay. Um, all right. Carlos, so what what co-locates, well, obviously, with blank chops or blank sausages? Carlos? Oh, yeah. Pork. Yeah, of course, we just looked at pork chops, so pork chops, often sausages are made with pork, usually. Sometimes other meats you can make sausages out of, sometimes a mix of meats, even. Uh, Carlos, do you like, do you ever eat sausages? Uh, yes, I'd like, I'd like to eat sausages. Uh, is, are there any, are there any special sausages in your country? Many, many different countries have different specialty sausages. Yeah, in my country, there are uh, kind of such as, uh, such as, mm -hmm. all. Uh, What's it called? Okay. Uh, I don't know how to say in English, but in Spanish is uh, sausage or in Spanish chorizo. Chorizo. Yeah. yeah. People uh, eat chorizo here in the Philippines. Believe me, every store has chorizo, every food store. It's very popular here actually. So I know that one well, actually. Um, they put, use it in many dishes here. It's very common, actually. Here in the Philippines, they have another kind of sausage. Uh, it's called longanisa. I'm sure none of you have heard about it, but oh my goodness. It's very, let's just say it has a very powerful and unique, a very different flavor. And if you eat longanisa, in the morning for breakfast, when you burp later, <coughs> you burp and you taste longanisa at nine o'clock at night, twelve hours later. <laughs> it's really quite disgusting. 
But man, that's a flavor that stays with you all day long. You can taste it in your mouth. Wow. It's really powerful. Uh, okay, anyway. Keiko, what co-locates, what word might co-locate with chicken, beef, bacon? Burger. Burgers. Yeah, of course. Even we have vegetarian burgers, veggie burger. You can eat the chicken burger, beef burger, bacon burger, obviously cheeseburger. Um, do you like burgers, Keiko? I, I uh, seldom mm -hmm. consume consume burgers, even though I I find them tasty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. Of course, we all know what burgers are. They're fast food restaurants all over the world. I'm sure we know that that one. Uh, all right, I do too. I like to. I like to make my own burgers, though. I spice them up my own special way. Um, David, are you still here? No. Looks like he split. Uh, okay. Um, Hussein, back to you. I, I think, I think uh, uh, chicken only. <laughs> chicken only. Absolutely. Chicken breast, chicken wing, chicken leg. Absolutely. How about you? What, what's your favorite part of the chicken, Hussein? Uh, maybe breast, maybe leg as uh, woman. Uh, Not uh, wing. <laughs> Not wing. <laughs> okay. You don't like wing it, winged women? Okay. <laughs> no. Let's, all right, let's stay away from that one. We're going to get ourselves in trouble, Hussein. All right. Okay. Now we got something interesting going on here. Let's see how you guys are at uh, fish identification, seafood identification 101. Welcome to fish identification. Mike, we're going to start with you. Pick the number. Which one um, is the salmon? Salmon. Okay. Mm -hmm. Salmon. This is going to test you guys. This is a little bit tough. Which one do you think is the salmon? A one. Oh. No. Uh, Not no, one. no, no, no. Uh, is nine. Number nine. Excellent. Very good call. Do you like salmon, Mike? Yeah, I like I like salmon. Uh, I do too. I love salmon, actually. Yeah. Uh, it is. Uh, you, do you ever eat smoked salmon, Mike? Uh, sorry. Have you ever had smoked salmon? You know what I mean? Yeah. They uh, they use smoke. Oh, I don't know. It's mo. Smoke. Uh, smoke from a fire. You make a fire and the smoke comes out. If you breathe too much smoke, you'll you'll uh, pass out. Uh, okay, they use the smoke. The smoke helps to preserve the meat. That, there's many ways to cure meat. You can pack meat with salt and preserve it. Or you can um, preserve it using smoke. Uh, anyway, smoked salmon is uh, awfully delicious. Anyway. Uh, anyway, yeah. Okay, uh, others are commenting about pronunciation. Yes, the L is silent. Salmon. There's no L sound. Salmon. All right. Salmon. All right. Fishy, fishy. Salmon. That's it. You got it. Okay. Let's. Ooh, the next one's kind of tough. The next one I'm not even sure of. Um, German? German? 
Are you there? All right. Find your soul. <laughs> which, which? Yeah, soul. Maybe it is number seven. Uh, uh, seven? No. no. A soul is a fish. It is a flat fish, actually. Uh, you know what the difference between a flat fish and a round fish is? We basically mm -hmm. categorize fish in two ways in English. Uh, well, for example, a salmon is a round fish. Its body is round when you hold it in your hands. It's round. And a sole is a flat fish. If you lay it down on the table, it's it's flat. Yeah, okay. There you go. Um, I think you're right. Three, three and four are very similar. I, I think you're right. Uh, so it, it is uh, on the uh, shoes. It is so. Yes? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yes. yes, that's correct. The other meaning for soul is the bottom of your shoe. Uh, is the sole of your shoe. <laughs> that's right. It's also kind of fish. Uh, and it's... Uh, this is a kind of fish, there's many kinds of fish that we would call a white flaky fish. When we describe it, it's very common to say it's a white flaky fish. For example, a waiter in a restaurant might describe it to you. Oh, what is sole? It's a white flaky fish. Generally speaking, white white flaky fish have, um, they don't, they're not so fishy tasting. They have a mild flavor. Sole is very mild. Generally, you use a very mild sauce with it. Uh, yes, uh, and it is a flat fish. It is very flat. Uh, okay, let's, let's move on here. Uh, Orange is gone. Uh, Mustafa, where is the squid? I don't have any idea about it. What it was not coming here, but I <laughs> guess it, yeah, I guess it's from between maybe one or eleven or twelve or seven. <clears throat> well, uh, your first guess was correct. One. Uh, number one is a squid. Squid is the name of the animal. A lot of times when we prepare it when we cook it in restaurants and so forth it will be called calamares calamari you, you might hear it uh, uh, called that in, in a restaurant they're never going to call it squid they'll call it calamari do people eat squid uh, in your country Mustafa no no that's why I don't know about it really yeah, okay. it's not, I, I, really? I, didn't, I haven't heard uh, about it in my country. Oh, no kidding. Okay. Yeah. It's really, really common and popular in the Philippines. It's very, uh, you can buy it in the supermarket. You, you, they, they can it. They put it in cans. You can buy canned calamari, fresh calamari, frozen calamari, pre-prepared calamari, <laughs> My goodness, you can buy calamari crackers. They, yeah, they they eat a lot of it here. Um, of course, being an island nation, I guess that's not surprising. Uh, okay, squid. Very, very common animals in the ocean. They, they don't have much taste, though, Mustafa. You're not missing much. <laughs> a little bit, but you're a little rubbery, but anyway, they're plentiful. And they're cheap, which is why they probably eat them here in the Philippines. Not so much the next ones. Armando, where is the lobster? Uh, lobster, lobster, lobster. 
Uh, good. Yes. Do you like lobster, Armando? Every way love lobster. Everybody who's sane, Armando. <laughs> yeah. I'm it's, with very, you. it's very expensive. Uh, yeah, it's usually very expensive, but uh, man, it's one of my favorites. Uh, yeah. Of course, there are tropical lobsters, and then there's North Atlantic lobsters. North Atlantic lobsters are the ones that get really big. Oh my goodness. A little drawn butter, melted butter, we call drawn butter. A little drawn butter and some lemon. <laughs> We're in business. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I used to, when I lived in the United States, um, I used to make special trips, drive to Maine, only not for vacation, just to have dinner, to have very, very, very fresh Maine lobster. I, I would drive for four hours just to eat lobster for dinner. Yeah. Obviously, they're much cheaper there because that's where they harvest a lot of lobster. Okay. Moving on. Uh, uh, Keiko. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Carlos. Carlos. Crab. Uh, grab, uh, matches with, uh, number eight. Uh, of course. Uh, of course, there are many, many, many kinds of crab. Uh, do you eat crab, Carlos? Yes, uh, I rarely, uh, eat, uh, crab, but I like it. Yeah. Uh, there are just... Many, many kinds of crab. Crab, every I think, pretty much everywhere in the world. And there's several, I don't know, there's just dozens of types of crab. Very expensive from the um, Arctic Circle. You have king crab and red crab. But anyway, they're, they're everywhere. Okay, uh, next one. Uh, Keiko. Prawns. Keiko, are you there? Prawn. Yeah. Uh, prawn is represented in the figure in the figure eleven. Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> Creepy looking guy there. Yeah. Uh, what's the other word for prawns? Camer Cameroon. Cameroon. Oh, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> Other English word. <laughs> shrimp. Uh, shrimp, yeah. yeah. Shrimp, that's right. Um, yeah, most Americans get confused when you call them prawns for some reason. Americans call them shrimp more often, but everybody else calls them prawns. Uh, Jermaine, bye-bye. Thank you for stopping by. All right, do you like shrimp? Yes, Did, uh, I like Keiko, it. You... I like it very much, teacher. It is yeah. delicious. Oh, yes, it is. Uh, yeah. Did uh, you ever see the movie Forrest Gump, Keiko? Yes. All right. Uh, a, long, a long time ago. <laughs> All right. Do you remember the part where where Forrest Gump is a shrimp, uh, a, a shrimp fisherman, and the the guy he, he's a shrimp fisherman with tells him about all the ways you can cook shrimp. Yep, you can make shrimp cocktail, fried shrimp, fried shrimp sandwich, shrimp boil, shrimp etouffee, shrimp jambalaya, shrimp stew. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> One of my favorite scenes in a movie. I, I love that. I get hungry every time I watch it. All right. Yes, uh, shrimp. Also very popular, but very expensive. Um, are they expensive, Keiko, in Brazil? Not, uh, not, not too much, too much, teacher. Really? Uh, that is, that is a delicious, a delicious dish uh, called bobó, bobó de camarão. It is a, a special uh, dish. It is not, it is not too much. Uh, 
Yeah. Hmm. Expensive. Really? Okay. Yeah, because uh, yeah, a lot of times they're... They're especially... Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, the bigger, the bigger they are, the more expensive they are. Mustafa has a point there. That's definitely true. It's interesting, different parts of the world that it's really expensive in some places and not so bad in others. Hmm. Okay, anyway. Uh, all right. Um, our next contestant, Hussein, muscles. Which picture shows muscles? Uh, I think um, maybe six. Uh, yes, I think you're correct. Do people eat mussels in your country? No, never. No, never? Really? Never, yes, yes. Maybe you know, I said you, our country, also a Muslim country, uh, not, ah. for that, uh, not for that Muslim country. Uh, in our, you know, in my picture, we have the big, uh, if you know, very uh, big, uh, Mm, lake in the world, Caspian Sea. Caspian Sea name right. it uh, also uh, 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 lake. We have uh -huh. uh, fishes uh, uh, in the world very very uh, uh, small uh, species, and in our country, right. in our uh, sea, we have. Caviar, black caviar, black caviar. Uh, in black <laughs> in caviar. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, in fishing. Right. But but not uh, traditional or we don't know uh, uh, mussels, uh, other um, uh, seafood. Okay. Seafood. Uh, All right. Maybe, but in our uh, restaurants uh, or, or stores, we have the all the kind of. Uh, fishes of okay. seafood. Interesting. Perhaps. Interesting. Yeah. Here in the Philippines, mussels are very cheap, very common for the you know common working guy meal mm -hmm. mussels. Um, they're really quite cheap. They're they're not expensive at all. Uh, okay. Um, next one, Mike. Trout. Yes. Trout. Trout. Pretty little trout. Trout. Um, I think it's I think it's ten or five. Yeah, I think it's. I think you're right. Ten. Um, probably ten. Trout and salmon are very similar, but of course, uh, trout's smaller than a salmon. Um, of course, trout are freshwater fish. Salmon are freshwater slash saltwater fish. Of course, fish like sole and tuna are saltwater fish. Um, Mike, you ever have you ever caught a trout? Oh, caught? I, I don't know. <laughs> well, you would know. Have no, you ever been? I, I don't understand. Uh, have you have you ever been fishing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. I like, I like. All right. Have you ever caught a trout when you were fishing? Yeah, sometime. Ah, okay. Great. Uh, all right. Um, yeah, I used to love trout fishing a lot when I lived in the United States. Uh, something I did regularly. In the summer, I, I like to catch them. I like to eat them. Uh, okay. It's good. It's, uh, uh, yeah. It's... Yeah, they're delicious. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, Mustafa, where's the tuna? Who? Number two, absolutely. Everybody eats tuna. I think. Do you eat tuna, Mustafa? Tuna is very common also here. Yeah, right. Uh, same here, of course. Tuna is very common. Of course, there's different kinds of tuna and the what are the bluefin? I think they're bluefin tuna. 
They're the ones that the Japanese like to eat in sashimi, and they can be very big, but they are insanely expensive. One fish, like $20,000. But, of course, you're talking about, I don't know, four or 500 pounds of meat, but they can be very expensive uh, for the very best tuna. Uh, of course, then there's the albacore tuna, which you find in a can. It's a totally different thing. Of course, very commonplace and relatively cheap. Uh, Armando, how about place? Place. Yeah, which uh, one is that? No idea. I don't know this, this fish. Well, it's another flat fish. I think number four is actually the sole. I think we got this wrong earlier. And number three is place. When I look at it more carefully with the fins, these things that help the fish swim, these are called as fins. Uh, anyway, so I think place is number three. It's flatfish. It's common in, I guess, uh, in England, maybe um, Scandinavian countries. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, from, no. from, the, from the sketch of uh, Sol, Sol uh, yeah. I think it's three is Sol. From the three sketch, is Sol? I, yeah, I can't tell. From the link. From the link in the Google. Okay. I can't tell the difference. These are so close. But it, the fact is, soul and place look a lot alike, except they're, the color. The form is similar. Okay. That's fine. All right. Three is soul, four is place. All right. Place, there's, I know there's different types of place. So soul is soul, but Dover soul. But place is hard to tell. Uh, okay. we got a, only a couple left. Let's see if we can get through these. Uh, Carlos, where's the snapper? Uh, often called red snapper. Um, I think a snapper is uh, letter, the number 10. Mm, no, I think 10 is probably trout. Uh, snapper is probably up here. Uh, I think number 5. Um, Carlos, I have a question for you. When, if you buy fish in the supermarket, is the fish all cut up for you? Is it all cut? It's. Uh, I I I understand you. That the. Well, okay. If I buy fish in the United States, I don't actually see these shapes. What I just see is the meat. They prepare it, they remove the bones, they remove the guts or the insides, they take the skin off. It's just meat. That's what you buy in the United States. However, in the Philippines, if I buy a snapper, I buy this. I buy the fish. They don't, they don't just sell you the, the meat cut off of the fish. They sell you the whole fish. <laughs> uh, if, if you buy tuna, the, the butcher will saw off a piece of tuna. If you buy salmon, he'll pick up the fish and cut off a piece and give it to you. So it's obviously f probably fresher, but anyway, that was my okay. question. Yeah. Um, in my country, uh, there there are both choice, choices. Ah, okay. Right. Okay, I uh, see. The, the people prefer uh, entire um, fish. <laughs> okay. Right, right, okay. Uh, by, the, by the way, the adjective, if something like a fish is all cut up and the bones are cut out, the bones are removed, the skin is cut off, it's dressed. And actually, any animal that you're going to eat, if it's the meat, only the meat, it's been dressed. I know that sounds kind of backwards. When a human is dressed, they put clothes on. When an animal is dressed, it means everything but the meat is removed. Uh, okay, I've gone over time. I'm already in my next class time. time. But number seven is the clam here. Uh, again, many forms of clam, another kind of shellfish. Uh, 
shellfish. Uh, okay, thank you, gentlemen. In our exploration of meat, <laughs> that was fun. Fun for carnivores. Uh, anyway, thank you very much. Thanks for your help. But uh, I'm over time. I gotta go. Uh, see you soon. Thank you, okay. teacher. Thank you, guys. Okay. You. Okay. Yes. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes, I'm. Do, what? do you have a, Do you have sent this doc for me?